everyone. So today I'm going to talk about, and this is another book review. This is called Thoughtless, which was uh, the first book in the Thoughtless series by S.C. Stevens. Um, Stephen Stevens, <laughs> um, I'm not sure how to say it, but I'm going to say Stevens right now. Um, so I'm at goodreads.com and I'm going to read the synopsis and then the genres. Okay, so I'm going to start. For almost two years now, Kira's boyfriend, Denny, has been everything she's ever wanted. Loving, tender, and endlessly devoted to her. When they head off to a new city to start their lives together, Denny at his dream job and Kira at a top-notch university. Everything seems perfect. Then an unforeseen obligation forces the happy couple apart. Feeling lonely, confused, and in need of comfort, Kira turns to an unexpected source a local rock star named Kellen Kyle. At first, he's purely a friend that she can lean on, but as her loneliness grows, so does their relationship. And then one night, everything changes and none of them will ever be the same again. <clears throat> These genres are romance, new adult, contemporary, contemporary romance, and young adult. This was first published back in June 11, 2011. I I didn't get it right away because I didn't I forgot what I was I forgot what I was reading that recommended this or um yeah it was recommended it was recommended through Goodreads I think um oh now I know it was um one of Christine Zolan's um, books that rec after reading that and enjoying that, that was recommended and this was recommended from that. And I'm really glad that it was because I did enjoy it. So this is what the cover looks like right there. It's just, um, I think that is a woman's back, a woman's back, um, jeans and her back and then a guy's arm right there. Yeah, that looks like a guy's a guy's arm because it's kind of thick and muscly. So um, anyway, Kira, just to let you know in the story, it just, um, the way she portrays herself is that she's like plain Jane and she's just kind of boring, you know, boring and all that stuff because she does have an older sister. And to her, everybody always sees her older sister like incredibly beautiful and she's just, you know, the the um plain sister so with that already um i guess her though you know like her her um her that's her little insecurity to start with um denny is denny is um australian and um he's like incredibly awesome and um he's just this great guy um and the unforeseen obligation that was really like a shock you know like i never expected that to happen in the story um kellen is definitely like uh one of those mysterious very um like a very beautiful kind of guy mysterious and a little bit dark and just um like you can you can tell there's something a little bit off with him but you're not really sure what it is so um there wasn't really um i don't think kira was interested in kellen in the beginning especially in the beginning i think she was more a little irritated that he was there um in their life because I don't want, I don't want to spoil a lot of things, and this might be a little spoiler because it's not it's not in the description or the synopsis of the book, but um, they were to save some money. They were um, renting a room in Kellen's house because Ellen Kellen 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 not Ellen Kellen owns a house, and um, it it explains how and why they did that, and it explains how. Denny and Kellen knew each other in the past. Um, it is, um, there are some dark, twisted uh, info in it. Um, 
there is, I guess, a little bit of sexual content. Not, you know, it's it's done really well. It's done, it's it's done really well. It's not like, you know, it's not, I wouldn't call it smut or anything like that. I'm not saying that that is a bad thing, but um, it's just that sometimes people, certain people might not be comfortable in reading things like that. Um, and some people might be more interested in things like that. Uh, if I say that, I'm not really saying that to be offensive or anything, but, um, but I'm just saying if that's what you're interested in, it might be lacking in this type of book because it's not there. And if that's something that you shy away from, then this book might be perfect for you because it doesn't really have that. So I just wanted to make sure that I am describing it as, as, best as I can. Um, I love this book. I really enjoyed this book. That's just, I guess if you've, if you've, um, already seen my other book reviews, you can have a theme on the type of book that I enjoy a lot. And this is definitely one of those types of books that I enjoy a lot. Um, so one out of 10 stars, I would give this a eight. This was really great. I love, um, I love the story. I love the characters. Um, I love that it, I mean, I love when it is, um, at least two people's point of view. I do enjoy that a lot, but I also do enjoy when it's just one person's point of view because I can kind of put my, myself in those shoes and be like, oh my God, that's actually true. You know, like, why 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 and what if and what just happened you know you know what i mean like it's a lot more re relatable in that sense because when you know everyday life you don't really get to get to see the other person's point of view you just see your point of view so i like that too um this is there are actually um like i said it's a series this is one of three there is a um what would you call that since it is, it's a one, like this is number one in the series. There's a 1.5, which I didn't know there was. So I'm going to have to read that. <laughs> um, so I don't know what that would be called. So they, maybe there are four books. There's one, 1 1.2, uh, oh, 1.5, I mean, and then, um, And a two and a three, obviously. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Um, there are five books total. There is this is one to four, and then there's a one point five. So there's five books total. The four though is a, it's not about um, Kira anymore. It's um, it's it's her sister story. So that's a different. I mean, it, it's. I don't um I don't know why it would be like one two three would be Kira's story and then four would be Anna's story which is her sister. It it's a little confusing in that sense because it's not like one book is Kira and then the second book is Anna and then the third book who knows. But um so yeah there are five books total one one point five two three and four. So oh. I completely forgot and I do apologize for that. Um, I give this a two thumbs up. It, I definitely recommend this book. I, I had a great time reading it. There were um, certainly a lot of times that I'm like, oh my God, Kira, what did you do? What just happened? Oh my God. Like there are a lot of times when I'm just like, I want to shake her, but then there's also a lot of times when you want to think about it and, and actually really try to relate and be like, hmm, what if I was really her and I was put in that position? Would I have done what she did? Would I have probably done the opposite or would I have done the same thing? You know what I mean? So it was, um, it was definitely a very entertaining, very, um, fun, um, some gasps here and there and some, what did you do? So I definitely recommend. If there are any kind of books that you guys, um, 
believe that I might be interested in, feel free to do that down below. If you've read this book, enjoyed it or not enjoy it, I would love to converse with you guys and see what, you know, what made you love it, what made you like it or hate it or dislike it. I'd be happy to do that. And if you just, you guys would just want to say hi, feel free to do that down below as well. I love conversing with you guys all the time. Thank you and um, see you next time. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible, I always try to get coupons for you guys, discount codes, and other goodies uh, like that. Um, I also have my Twitter information, Instagram, Snapchat, and for business inquiries, I have my email there as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.